close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. And stick with it all the way in, all the way out. At the same time, keep watch over your mind to make sure that it does stay with the breath. Because that's why we focus on the breath, is basically to catch the mind. The mind moves around all day, has all kinds of ideas, all kinds of thoughts. And all too often we're not really fully aware of what we're thinking about. There are many layers in the mind. And our motivations and our ideas can sometimes be hidden. We end up acting on something that we didn't really believe in and suddenly find that we're suffering from it and we wonder why. Well, it's because we weren't being very careful about how we chose our motivations, how we chose our intentions. Because we don't really see the mind clearly. We're paying too much attention to things outside. And the mind gets left in the shadows. So this is a time to turn around and direct your attention to the mind itself, make sure it stays right here, doesn't leave the breath. If it begins to slip off, just catch it and bring it right back. And in the course of it's trying to run away, you're going to learn an awful lot about it. There's a story in the canon of an elephant trainer. He says elephants are pretty easy. You try to train an elephant, with, and within a week you know all of its tricks, all the things it tries to do in order to escape getting the training. When you can see through its tricks, then you can really do the training. The human mind, though, he said, is a lot more complex, which is why one week is not enough for the meditation. It's a long-term process. But in the course of it, you're going to learn all your mind's tricks, all the ways it hides things from itself as you expose them. And then you get less and less deceived by the mind, fooled by the mind. You're more in control. So as you keep the mind with the breath, keep an eye also on when the mind is going to slip out and why it's going to slip out. Then you learn a lot about the mind, not only right here, right now, but also how it behaves in everyday life. And then you can use that knowledge as you go through everyday life. So that you're very clear about the motivations you act on, you, you act on things that you actually believe in, things that you trust, things that you know are right. And that can clear up a lot of problems in life right there. <laughs>